Hey everybody, Jake here. And just before we get into this review of this adorable little bottle opener, I do want to talk about something real quick. Um, I was just watching Frankie and Bird's channel, Birdshot IV. Check them out if you haven't. And they mentioned there was a, a kind of uh, giveaway thing going on. It's called PIF, Sensor Pay It Forward. And it's held by a gentleman named Jimmy Slash. Um, I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description. Or more accurately, I'll leave a link to a video explanation of what I'm about to try to explain to you. Probably not as well as he does. So basically what it is, is he gives away EDC gear to whoever wants it. That's it. There's there's no catch or anything like that. It's just if you if you would like some stuff, if you want to be cheered up a little bit, if you don't have any EDC gear, you can't afford it. I'll leave a, a link and up um, to that video. Go check it out. It has all of his contact info in there. You can get in touch with him and get added to his list. He sends out these boxes that have a bunch of really cool EDC stuff in there. Now, why am I mentioning this? Um, one, I just signed up for a box, so that's exciting. I'm probably going to be giving that stuff away that I get in after I review it. I just thought it'd be something fun to do, just kind of passing it along. Um, also, I'm going to be donating a decent bit of stuff. I haven't got it all gathered up yet, but before I send it off, I will do a quick video just kind of detailing what I'm going to be giving away. So please, please go check his stuff out. Sign up for the list. If you have excess stuff like I do, go ahead and contact him. You can also, he can set up to where you can donate and he can pass it along to people who are actually going to use this stuff. I have a lot of stuff sitting around and I think this is a fantastic way to get rid of it. It's very expensive for me to give away all these items individually on my channel. So by passing on to him, he makes these kind of boxes that have a bunch of stuff in them already and gives them out at random. I think that'll be a great way to contribute back to the EDC community. So not only will we all be giving away um, some EDC gear and, and knives and things like that, but also I'll be tossing in some fountain pens and some little ink files just to get people started and uh, get them to destroy their wallets over the next couple of years. So if you're interested, please check that out in the description. Um, huge thanks to Jimmy Slash for doing this. That's incredibly kind of you. And thank you for contributing to the community in a very constructive way. All right, on to the review. Hey everybody, Jake here. And today we're gonna take a look at the CRKT Snailer. This is a design by Jesper Voxnaz, and it's it's very unique. Um, a lot of bottle openers have become common EDC gear lately. A lot of people are into beer and things like that. I don't drink beer myself, um, but I do occasionally open bottle drinks. And I like to have something unique with me to carry on for EDC because I have a problem. So a lot of these designs have come out like this, commonly animals or other little interesting designs. And this is a take by Jesper Voxnez. He did make this in a custom, he still does I believe, but this is CRKT's slightly more affordable version. So we'll go ahead and jump into it, go over what I like, what I'm neutral towards, what I dislike. And we'll also go ahead and do some size comparisons with some somewhat related stuff just to give you kind of an idea of what to expect when you get this thing. All right, on to the size comparison. So first up, I'll go ahead and compare it to some relevant things. Um, first up is this little multi-tool by Night Eyes. This is just a, a little thing. Um, it has a built-in bottle opener, a few other functions. So you can see the snailer is just a little bit bigger than it, uh, or longer than it. It is a decent bit wider though, when you consider everything. Uh, just w where it's going to be sitting in your pocket, this is this is going to be uh, a decent bit chunkier. They do have different functions, though. Um, they do both open bottles. This one has a bit more utility, in my opinion, but it depends on your use case for this nailer. And also, we'll bring out the little uh, Victorinox Classic here. So you can see, it's... It's closer to the Night Eyes tool than the Snailer. The Snailer, Snailer's a little bit bigger. It's fairly large for a small uh, keychain multi-tool, in my opinion. You don't have to use it as a keychain multi-tool, but I figure that's what it'll be used for the most. Next up, we'll go ahead and bring out the uh, CRKT Pilar here. So, you can kind of see, you know, if you imagine it with the, with the blade closed, the Snailer is going to be a little bit smaller than it overall. Uh, the Pilar is obviously going to be a little bit wider. Also bring out the ZT0450CF. So this isn't the smallest multi-tool, but it's fairly fairly compact. 
And for those of you that are into pens, I'll bring out a very common one here. This is the Pilot Metropolitan. And this is somewhat similar to some other smaller ballpoint and rollerball pins as well. So you can kind of get a, an idea of what to expect there. All right, on to the like. So first thing up is this design. I love this design. I think it's adorable. Um, it's, it's a cute little happy snail. Who's going to disagree or be bothered by a happy snail? No one, I hope. Um, I think it's I think it's one of the cuter designs out there. There have been some other ones that I've been interested in, like Little Chameleon, things like that. But this is the first one that attracted me to it because it was affordable. <laughs> it's actually, they're only, this, this version here is about $10. A little bit cheaper depending on where you get it. 8 to 10 is what I would say. They make another smaller version without this nifty little quick release um, for about 8. I think 7 or 8, something like that. Personally, I went this one purely because of the quick release. They, the smaller one is going to have some advantages, I'm sure. We'll go over that in a bit. But the quick release is very, very handy. Um, I'll bring back the not as for an example. Just because you can just kind of clip it onto your key ring. And then when you need to actually open a bottle, you can pop it off and slip it back on. It's super, super simple, super quick, and very, very convenient to have. Especially with something like a bottle opener. I don't feel like smacking my keys into a bottle when I'm you know, actually going to go pry it off. I don't feel like slamming my entire key ring up against it. So that's a nice little touch, the quick release mechanism there. And I think that's worth the extra couple of bucks, even if you're kind of leaning towards the smaller size. Because of the size of this, ergonomics are great. Um, generally, when I go to open a bottle, I'm going to hold it like this, just to get some leverage on the snail's little noggin there. And also, this jimping gives you a very good no-slip grip in your hand. Um, I I've never had this one slip out of my hand while trying to open a bottle. It's, it's very good ergonomically. It doesn't feel great in the hand, but it gives you a lot of purchase, which is much more important for opening a bottle, because you're not going to be popping eight of them at once. You know, you're going to be doing it probably one or two times and then putting the thing down. So it's great for that. You're not going to lose your grip on it. And it's 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 nice enough in your hand. Fit and finish is nice as well. All of these edges may look a little sharp, but they're not. The only sharp edges really are right here um, when you lift up that little uh, quick release mechanism. The edges there are a little sharp. Those right there are a little sharp, but that's about it. But the places you're going to be actually gripping, even inside the mouth and things like that, it's not really sharp. Um, it's lifted just a little bit on that bottom lip just to give you some extra purchase on the uh, bottle, but that's it. So in the hand, it's not going to cut into it or anything necessarily. So that's a nice little touch. On to the neutral. First thing up is the size and weight. I would probably prefer the size and weight of the compact, but, you know, the quick release is, is kind of a thing. If they come out with a compact one with a quick release, I'll probably purchase it immediately. Um, this isn't a bad size, though. It's, it's nice enough, and it's not particularly heavy. It is heavier than your um, Night Eyes tool. It's heavier than the Victorinox Classic, but it's not nearly as heavy as, like, the Pilar or anything like that. It, it's not a bad keychain weight, which is generally what, what I carry it on if I do carry this. Only other thing here is really the limited functionality. So unless there are other functions besides the ones I'm about to mention, let me know in the comments. But as far as I can tell, this really only has two uses. It's a bottle opener. And I do not advocate this, but it could be used as a sort of self-defense tool as well. Um, if you buckle down in the jimping, you, in, a pin, in a pinch, you could use this. Um, I would not advise it <laughs> because you're probably going to get injured severely or go to jail or both. So probably don't do that. I purchased this explicitly for being a bottle opener. It's a great bottle opener. But most of them, like this one, this has much more functionality and a smaller, more compact size. So really what you're paying for here is the design. And in my opinion, it's pretty worth it. All right, let's go ahead and go on to what I dislike about it. Only two things here. First thing up is I've had this for a while now, maybe a year or so. And I've noticed some spring wiggle. So this little quick release spring here has begun to move side to side, as you can see there. So if I can get it focused a little bit better. So you can kind of see it's not a lot. It still functions just fine, but it's there. So when you're trying to use this, it may wiggle back, wiggle back and forth just a bit. It's not too bad, but it's kind of annoying. I prefer if they use a slightly higher quality spring just to hold it in place, but it's $10. So just figured I'd go ahead and mention that because it is something that I dislike about this. 
Last thing, the billboarding. They literally made the writing on here as large as they possibly could. They're like, hey, let's, uh, what's the most obvious large space on this snail? Oh, it's snail neck. So they put snailer in Voxnet's design. Up here it says 9006, whichever way you read it, which is, which is nifty. And then on the um, other side it says CRKT in enormous letters. Guys, why not put that, like, right around here on the ring or something? Why, why would you, why would you mess up this this perfectly adorable snail by putting your crappy logo all over it it's just a little frustrating um, otherwise it's a very clean very unique design and I like it a lot but that's very annoying all right on to the conclusion this is a fantastic little piece I like it a lot it has a lot of utility as far as bottle opening goes it doesn't have much beyond that but it's it's nice it's cute and it works that's the biggest thing is it works the quick release is amazing for popping on and off keys, or if you want to do a belt loop, lanyard, whatever. You can, <laughs> sorry about that. You can do whatever you want to with this. Um, it's a cute design, and I like it a lot. It's affordable, and it works great. So if you're interested, I can't recommend this enough if you're just looking for a kind of medium-sized bottle opener and size isn't a ridiculous concern, I'd pick this up. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to check out my other stuff, and have a good day. Thanks, guys. Bye.